I'm, I'm just taking you for wet. Well, I want to thank you all for coming today. I know it was quite a drive for some of you all. I appreciate you coming to help us get the information out on this dangerous fugitive. Uh, Colt Morgan, white male, age 29, 5'10", 170 pounds. He was last seen wearing combat boots, black BDU pants, a gray and black jacket, and a black toboggan. He has a healing injury to his right hand. Morgan is wanted for the murder of Wendy Marshall out of Northwest Harris County. <clears throat> On Saturday, November the 23rd, Morgan was spotted by Buffalo Police Department. While the officer attempted to positively identify Morgan, a struggle ensued. The officer was uh, head-butted and elbowed during his attempt to control the suspect. The suspect also tried to grab the officer's pistol and was attempting to draw his own pistol. He had the, concealed, had the weapon concealed in his waistband uh, the pistol was covered at the scene as a Glock 40 caliber. A uh, manhunt ensued over the next several days. Investigators discovered the suspect 
have been burglarizing buildings and vehicles in the Buffalo area. Ground teams were able to locate where the suspect had been living in a shelter built south of Buffalo along the railroad tracks. The shelter was made out of plastic, duct tape, twine, and limbs. <clears throat> the suspect believes to still be in possession of a red four-wheeler, a sleeping bag, and possible cold weather gear. These items were st stolen during a burglary in the Buffalo. Uh, the public is urged to report any activity, any burglaries or thefts in the area or any suspicious activity. Uh, also remember that his appearance uh, could, be ch could be changed. The suspect may have changed his clothing and facial hair. Uh, we're gonna release these photos. These photos, the suspect, the most current available to law enforcement. Uh, involved in the manhunt are members of local law enforcement, Texas Rangers, Gulf Coast and Lone Star, Fugitive Task Force, Texas Park and Wildlife Game Warden, and PDCJ. Uh, Chief Pavelka is going to release the video, the dash cam video, where his officer approached the suspect in Buffalo. And we're here to answer any questions that y'all have. Can you talk about the uh, current search for him and uh, just elaborate on why this is such a big effort? He's obviously a dangerous person. What are you, what are you doing right now? What we're doing right now, he's a very dangerous person. What we're doing right now is we're following up on any leads that we have, uh, any of the citizens reporting any suspicious activity. Uh, we still have ground crews out working and running these leads down. What about this weekend? I mean, you had quite a few people up here. I mean, a lot of a lot of hunters with trailers, four wheelers on those trailers. Any chance he could have gotten into one, crawled just into one of those and taken a ride out of here? There, there's a possibility he could have got out here numerous ways uh, by train. You know, by Interstate 45, that's why we're trying to get this information out and, and get it released around so anybody has seen or possibly picked this guy up somewhere. Uh, this weekend was our big weekend in the county for a lot of hunters to be in the area. And, you know, we didn't get any reports of any more camp houses or anything burglarized. So, you know, there is a good possibility that he has gone from the area. But he could still very well be here, too. Sir, have you seen this dash cam video? Is that something you described? Uh, yes, I've seen the video. Uh, Officer uh, Stephen Pate with Buffalo PD. Uh, Officer Pate was on patrol and observed a suspect walking down the street, did not know who it was at the time. Uh, he just pulled over to question him. And once he started questioning, you know, he remained pretty calm during the question he, you know, on the dash cam. He answered the questions. Morgan answered the questions. And then as it, uh, as it progressed, it, he became violent toward the officer. And that's when the fight, the struggle ensued. And he, you can see in the video, he's reaching down trying to get a pistol. He has a pistol in his waistband. And he's trying to get that. And uh, luckily, Officer Pate done a, a good job of controlling the suspect at the, at the scene and at, at the time. We'll see the video, but if you, can you just, um, after that point, how was he positioned, like in order to headbutt or something, right? When, yeah, when he turns to run away from him, the officer Pate has a hold of him. When he turns to run from him, it's when he headbutts and elbows the officer in order to escape, to get away from him. He tried to tase him, is that right, too? Yes, he did tase him. Uh, as it all went down, and when the suspect ran, Officer Pate ran toward him. He was able to, to shoot, this, to, able to release the taser, and it went into him when the suspect fell forward. The, the wires pulled out and suspect got up and ran again. Yes. Is there any reason to believe this suspect might be armed? There yes, he could he could be armed. Uh, the one of the burglaries that we have where the where the Glock was stolen the forty caliber, there were also rifles in that resident in that barn and there is a possibility he could have them. We we're gonna assume that he is armed. When he was tased, is there anything to show that he was actually tased? I mean, did he actually penetrate the skin or did it uh, be clothing material only? You know there? It, it did penetrate the skin. He went down. Yes, it, it went through the clothing. Can you describe the burglaries in any greater detail? How many are we talking about? Do you hear you that for one specific item or type of thing? The, the burglaries, uh, one of them is along the railroad tracks just west of Buffalo, west of 45. And it, it appeared what he was, was trying to do in that burglary was to get him some clothing, food, uh, money, anything he could obtain to, to survive, to stay in the woods. Because the, the makeshift shelter that he had was located just six or 800 yards from where this burglary occurred. So he was using that property 
that he had taken out of the burglary for his makeshift shelter. Was it just one property? We also had vehicles burglarized at a business there in Buffalo. What business was that? Uh, Ridley Block. Ridley Block? Ridley Block, yes. And the vehicles were broken into Ridley Block? Yes. What ties to the Buffalo area or the Leon County area? Anything family-wise, anything there? The, the original information we have is, or we have received was he has distant family members in uh, an area located between Buffalo and Oakwood that could possibly tie him to this area. Now, the investigator spoke with him after his marshal was missing. Can you describe why he was not arrested after uh, the, the investigation and everything is handled in Harris County, and I'm not, we're not going to elaborate yeah, anything on that. Can you talk about how this is something that's unusual for a small town of Buffalo and Leon County? I'm having having a, a murder suspect on the way to Leon County. Yes, well, it's 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 not unusual. It's just unusual by the way all this has occurred, uh, by the conference the, with the officer, you know, the, the danger and the, what happened with the officer and then him fleeing on foot and the, the manhunt starting from there, you know, it's just, uh, just the way it's all went. You mentioned before how violent and dangerous he's considered. If folks do encounter him, what do they need to do? Um, just call 911, call the guys, I guess? Yes, just don't don't approach him, just call 911 and we'll, we'll get someone out there. Like I say, we've got uh, numerous agencies here helping us and have been here with us and just give us a call and we'll, we'll come out. Sure. Uh, we all had a lot of false tips. I know I hear a lot of, a lot of rumors going around that you've been spotted in different businesses and actually applying for a job in one place. Are, are any of those true, or they're just people think they, they see the guy? He did He did actually apply for a job, or he didn't apply for the job. He picked up a job application yeah. at Pizza Hut. Yeah. On, on Saturday, prior to Officer Pate's uh, encounter with him, he had made his way around uh, the Buffalo area. He went into Pizza Hut and eat. And then he went to Brookshire Brothers later that afternoon and uh, had purchased some water and different types of food there. Can you speak about one, his relationship with his girlfriend, Wendy Marshall, what may have prompted the murder? I know that's in Harris County, but any more you can tell us about their relationship? We, I do not have any information on, on stuff at Harris County with the, with the family members or any of that. Your officer, uh, he's okay? He was just... Is there anything you want to mention about him at all? It's just that because of what he did, he got the weapon from the guy. It's from the mic, sir. <clears throat> yeah, because of what um, Stephen did, he was able to cause that weapon to fall out, and you know that, that's very important. He did everything he could do to protect our citizens. So, and unfortunately, the burglar, we don't know what else is missing from that burglary. The person owns it has not been able to tell us anything else that's been missing. He didn't even know the pistol was missing until Monday morning. And we already had that back in our possession. So it's a rifle and a pistol and a full rifle. We don't know if he's taken a rifle or anything. I just know when I went out there to do the in, the report, the guy only he said was missing was a four-wheeler and there was a bunch of shotguns and rifles inside there. He knew nothing else was missing. So that was all a single incident, the four-wheeler, the, the rifles, and the shotguns. Attention. And how many other burglaries are we talking about? You mentioned vehicles. Two vehicles were broken into a really block where he stole the five dollars, two credit cards which he had used down at Tiger Mart, and the other vehicle he took a safety, um, like an emergency kit, and a poncho. That's all that's been reported. Did y'all still suspect that he's still in the area? Answer that. I mean, I, yeah. I wish I knew. If I knew, we wouldn't be here. We'd be out there getting him. Any other major searches planned for you guys coming up? Like, like you did recently, any other plans? We're we're just going to continue to follow up on leads that we have. Right now, we're still getting reports, and every report we get, we're going to go out and check, and we'll continue to do that. There is a uh, $5,000, at least a $5,000 reward 
offered through the Harris County Crime Stoppers, and I believe that number is 713-222-TIPS. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it.